My name's Ravi and I am the owner of Dark Star Leatherworks. We handcraft premium leather seats and saddlebags for custom motorcycles. It really started with an old cuff that I had that I bought from a leather worker based in Brooklyn. And I wore that cuff on my wrist for around eight years straight. And that means every day until one day it eventually broke. So I started looking up how to work with leather and I came across a children's leatherworking kit where you can make a simple wallet. It taught you the basics of working with leather, punching it out, drawing patterns. And from there I thought, well, maybe I can make something of this. So I started making small items like wallets and journals and I started selling around artisan markets. But at the same time, I had just recently bought a Harley Davidson and I didn't like the bags that were on the market at the time. So I thought I'll, I'll try and design one and make it myself. And I started selling them on eBay as my um, technique became more and more refined and they were selling and that's when I thought, okay, maybe I'm onto something here. And then eventually I felt the same way about my seat. I wasn't happy with the seat, so I designed my own, made it, started selling them and they started selling. And that was my bread and butter for a few years until I decided to expand the business and expand the range of products that I make. So working with leather is, is satisfying, but it's also a challenge because unlike working with cottons or other fabrics, once you made a mistake, that's it. That piece of leather is ruined and you have to start again. For ethical reasons, we don't use any exotic hides, even upon request. So all the leather that we use is a byproduct of the food industry. What we use is known as veg tan leather, vegetable tan leather. And it's the natural way of tanning leather that people have been using for thousands of years. A lot of products nowadays are just made in some obscure factory on the far end of nowhere. And people have lost the idea that people make things. And when people see our products, they're shocked that it's made in the UK. And we think that's a shame, really, because the UK has a proud manufacturing tradition and history. It still does, if you look in the right places. Um, but we're looking to uh, carry on a tradition of fine craftsmanship. And we don't do huge batches or order runs. We make everything in small batches that we can ensure each customer gets something special every time.